Hello everyone, and this is Stardust here on 2-3, coming into you with some more sinking ship simulator. This is actually the uh, the ship sandbox, Alpha 1.3, if you hadn't checked yet. Uh, it's on the top right corner of my window, but I have a special ship for you guys. I've been working on it for a while. It's not these. These are the uh, the basic ones that come with the game. Though they're fun to sink anyway, just because you can sink them as soon as they fly back into the water. Look at that sinking capability these ships have. This is such a, uh, a weird and kind of unrealistic simulator. But okay, we'll go into load ship, and we'll go into a real Titanic, and look at this beast of a ship. Look at this thing. It is huge. It's massive. It is monumental in size. If we put this next to the developer version, it'd be like half the length. This thing is so large, it, like, destroys itself. That's how large it is. It is big. Really, really big. But okay, guys. As you know, the point of sinking ship simulator is to uh, first have the ship kind of settle on the ground. And then you begin to puncture its compartments. Now, the thing is with this ship is it usually does not even stay up long enough to puncture or not to puncture, but to destroy the ship, because if you didn't know, it probably floods really, really slowly. Yeah, uh, I'd also like to say thank you guys uh, during this video. Uh, I got 1,000 views on the last sinking ship simulator video I put out. Big achievement for my channel, guys. I, If you see this and you watched the last video, please subscribe, you know, if you want to watch more videos, if you like saving Minecraft, yeah. If you like people playing Tech It or Volts, I have more Volts and, uh, in Tech It, not Tech It, Tech It Like, Technic Like on the way. It's a pretty exciting series, if I do say so myself, but I have to get on recording, and I've been very busy with school and, uh, you know, basically help out around the house. I mean, we've been painting and stuff a lot recently around here, too. Uh, kind of a decrepit house we live in, but it will, it will get better. And and here we see the uh, the kind of unrealistic effects. Um, water doesn't normally do that in real life, guys. So uh, don't don't worry about your ships flooding above the water level when uh, in real life. Oh crap! There, see, and told you the ship randomly disappears. So we're gonna cut to the uh, the when it when it reappears. You know, okay, fast forward, whatever. Okay, and it looks like the ship is pretty much in the last or the spot it was last time. Usually it makes it a little bit farther than this. If it's lagging, if you've uh, actually noticed that, guys, this is not my system. My computer appears to be running at a very high FPS right now, and uh, my mouse isn't getting any lag. None of my other windows or anything are getting any lag. It's just this game, which is lagging incredibly. Uh, this game, this engine, is very new. It doesn't get updated anymore. It's pretty much... I mean, you know, experimental to begin with, and it does not, it does tend to crash as you get larger ships and more strain on the system. I'm sure if you built, built like a kind of a little ski boat, it'd last, you know, forever. It wouldn't sit there and glitch out and disappear. But yeah, here you can see it is just spilling over the compartments at this point, again, using the weird technology with like super water pressure. Um, middle, uh, I don't know if I turned on highlights. Star oh, crap. No, it did it again. Oh my gosh. This is so annoying. Darn it. Darn it. Okay, fine. I'll see you guys in like a little bit. Bye. Fast forward. Okay, so we're going to help this thing flood a little bit faster by flooding the uh, the compartments, you know, as it, a little bit faster, you know, before, so we can sink this thing a little bit faster than normal, just because the, uh, the ship does not tend to, to last on the game that long, because the simulator can't take it. The engine is very poor, 
as you can see, there is crashing happening everywhere. The stupid simulator doesn't like the game enough. Stupid Titanic won't sink. Why can't I sink the Titanic? Oh my god. Oh, rage. Oh, yeah, that's sinking pretty well, actually. Why not just do that in the first place? You know, if somebody would have took like a huge machine gun and blown holes right through it, you know, it would have just, you know, done that, obviously, because that's what everything in this game does. If we could just split it right down the middle as it falls, this thing won't stand a chance. Oh, yeah, look at that. Hammer time. It's like the, the water just like shoots up out of the thing and it just floods, you know? Very ridiculous. See, it's actually splitting two holes and then a, a crash. You know, guys, this is very depressing. Very depressing. What if we just cut that off? We cut that off. Then we uh, just kind of do that, you know? Have some fun with the Titanic before it, you know, destroys itself, obviously. Oh, I should show you guys what happens to this boat before it, uh, no, oh my god. You know, I'm gonna have this, uh, this boat available for download, you know, if somebody else wants to, uh, to do, do that. But this is what, this is what happens to the boat on normal strength, level of five. Um, yeah, as you'll see, it's, it's not a pretty sight. Hits the water, and everything looks fine, and then that happens. It, like, explodes. And it just rips apart. It can't take it. And especially when it flies in the air, too. It does not help the strain any. And it crashes the simulator, as always. So, guys, I'm going to make some more boats for this game. It's a pretty fun game. I can just kind of pick some boats out by random and do stuff. I'm going to make more of my own ships. This is actually the Titanic 3. This is the small version. And if we just load the big version I made, look at that comparison this thing's huge so yeah we'll uh you know just sink titanic 3 because it was smaller and easier to sink look at that only if i could sink a titanic like that you know maybe a midget titanic maybe that's should my next goal S instead of sinking sinking a huge titanic sink a midget titanic oh, that sounds really wrong for some reason sinking a midget titanic but, yeah, okay, this simulator hates me. I've determined that, guys. You know, maybe I'll record this when my computer seems more happy. I have my synthesizer program running in the background. You know, Google Chrome. I even turned off Google Chrome just for you. But, you know. There we got this game being such a, you know, potty mouth. So, I've been started Zero 3 If you like this, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.